Hi everyone, um, my name is Chris Walters, I'm the Grants Manager and Gallery Curator for the Arts Council and I'm here to show you how to use our online application system. So you would have gone to eArts.submittable.com and you'll see the grant application you want to apply for and you'll start going into it. You'll see links to the website, the guidelines where you can learn about more about the program, and eligibility, funding, things like that. It talks you through what you're going to see. There's the budget form, which is a separate form you need to upload into the system. And then as long as well as my um, email address if you have any questions or issues. So the bottom, you can either create your own account or you can sign in. Sorry, I have an account. I'm going to go ahead and sign into this. Um, so you see this message, and now that's the click for the uh, signing up for an account. It can be anything you want. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my email address and then my password. And then once I do that, I will sign in. And now you will see the me welcome message again, but now the rest of the application itself. You'll see these are fields that you can fill out. It's pretty simple. It's easy to use, easy to navigate. You see the whole application at once. You just type in the information. Works across any web browser, um, whether you're working on a Mac or Windows, things like that. So it's pretty simple. We try to keep it as um, streamlined as possible. Um, so you'll see the different information we need to capture. Your county is important to put in which county you're applying from. And just some different things. Phone number, if you can, make sure you try to put those dashes in there makes the um, collating of all the application materials and information a little easier. Um, but if there's information that we need to know, there's prompts we can give, things like that. You can put in your project title, um, you can make something fancy up, or I'm just going to call it the grant project. Um, there's places where you can do a checkbox, uh, you know, pick whether it's an online or in-person uh, program. And then you have your narrative questions. So these are going to be the questions that we're looking to get information from you to evaluate your application, um, to see if it meets the funding criteria to see if it's eligible, things like that. Um, it's really where we're going to find out the most information. So you can type in these boxes. You can make it a little bigger. There's 200 limit word count. Now I recommend that you work in uh, Word or some other program where you can copy paste. But there is also an option to submit a video or audio file. Um, if you're doing that, just type in here C media files and you can just do that for each one. Um, and that is how you would go through it. So, so the different questions you'll look at. Okay, here's the grant request. You can put in how much money you're requesting. Um, one of the last questions, talk about what you're going to be um, spending the money on. Um, but you can see what all those questions are when you get into the application. This is the budget form. It can be an Excel document. It can be a PDF document that you save. Um, but you would just choose file like you would do any other thing. Um, but actually, let me go ahead and open one up for you so you can see what it looks like. So here's the Excel file, and there you go. It shows right there. For some reason, you put the wrong one. You go to the Remove File button. Here's some other support materials you can upload. Um, it tells you the number of files you can upload, the kinds of files, and here's those video or audio responses to questions. So you just, again, choose the file. It tells you um, the exact kind of file, the number of files as well um, that you can upload. Now, if you, um, if you get the grant, we need to know who to make the payment out to. So type in your name or the organization name. And then there's a simple terms and conditions at the bottom. You would check that, that you agree to everything. And then there's save draft. Now you see it says the auto save draft now, but they still have a save draft button. So I would still hit that save draft button until you're ready to submit. And then once you're ready to submit, um, you just hit that button and you're good to go.